Hi, I'm Marty Jertson, PIG's Vice President of Fitting and Performance, and I was also the lead engineer on the G410 driver. I want to talk about uh, a question that came in that was a great question about the settings on the G410 and how to use them and what they mean. First, I want to talk about the benefit, what we're trying to do here. We have hosel settings that are built to optimize your launch conditions. So this is dialing your launch angle and your spin rate and fitting those for your ball speed or your club head speed, as well as your attack angle. We have a great fitting chart for that. Number two, for the first time for us, we have a CG shifting technology. It's in an innovative placement around the perimeter. So the driver still is extremely high inertia but this is used to reduce the curve on your ball flight at your level. Now, the way this works is you take this CG shifting weight, which is in the neutral position, as you see here, you can move it into the fade position or the draw, and you will see about a 10 yard change in your curve or your left right bias or trajectory. So this is a really big fitting lever, we would call it. Now the hosel settings, we have five settings on the outside that are used to change the loft of the driver primarily. So the big plus and the big minus change the loft by one and a half degrees, the small plus and the small minus by one degree. Okay, now what's a lot of fun and we use this, I personally use this setting and we use it with a lot of our tour players. As you unscrew the sleeve here, you will see that we have a zone of settings that are flat and we have three positions there. If you tried the driver in the fade position and you shifted it as a right-handed golfer, you start hitting it too far to the right. You can actually put it back in the neutral, then utilize these flat settings, which will flatten the lie angle of the driver. And you will expect to see a change in your ball flight, a shift of maybe about half as much as you would see using the CG shifter. This is something that our tour players use a lot for left, right bias optimization as well as impact location on the face if you're hitting your driver too far on the heel overall or on average try the flat setting it can shift your impact location bias more towards the center of the face you'll get more ball speed hit it further reduce your curve I hope you enjoy all of these settings they're simple easy to understand and help you optimize your driver